Ah. Like I was saying earlier, man. <laughs> this is part two of it. Running a marathon every day. Would you believe it? It's not. Um, I remembered 10 years ago. I literally went to a lot of things and where I literally just for like 10 days I was dead <laughs> for like 7 days and I promised myself when I get out of that that okay I'm just gonna run and I kid you not since last since for the past 10 years I have actually run I checked my app yesterday at Lafayette Lafayette shall I say and you and me going oh yeah I'm, I'm actually saying I'm surprised I checked one of my app yesterday and since last no since in the last 10 years I've literally run over 40 like 48,000 miles it doesn't matter no matter the setback I went to a stage where I got hit by a car and I had to learn how to run and how to walk again use yoga meditation to heal my body that even changed my whole thinking because I said okay if I'm ever able to walk again I'm actually going to take this thing serious just run as much as I can meditate the yoga and you name me do everything so it's all about that reading meditation so that right now the whole yoga thing is becoming more of a metaphysics I'm even blown away that I can actually get up every day and run 26 miles I, it blew me the biscuit away and I always say this I come to reality every time I think about childbearing I think a woman giving birth to a baby is one of the most powerful things that I've ever seen my whole entire life I cannot get over it and every time I want to get tired I just keep going and I think this thing called ultra running has a lot of spiritual discipline in it and that's why sometimes when people are talking about consciousness and religion I just sort of keep quiet because those things take discipline like for example I during all this 48,000 miles I've had a lot of things happen I've had immigration issues <laughs> I my beautiful ex-wife divorced me <laughs> I mean I got hit by a car uh, I've experienced homelessness I've lived in the shelter but you know what I had a purpose so I wasn't really bothered about all those things and it's just like abundance become my daily thinking and I've begun to realize that your abundance has nothing to do with what's going on around you. And that's why when you Google my name, I come up everywhere. I share this story of love and joy. Oh, double. <laughs> oh, double. Let me just say that. Oh, double. I gotta go. Uh